I think it might rain. <laughs> uh, coffee. It's always good. As a matter of fact, I think I just felt a drop in my head. Praise the Lord. Sunshine and rain. And so, since it is beginning to rain, let's share what the Lord might have for us today as He's given us a day to rejoice and be glad in, but also given us an opportunity to see, to hear, and to know what it is that God would say to you, to me, to anyone really who's willing to listen because if we have ears to hear, if we have eyes that we were given to see, then if we ask God to show us, if we ask God to speak to us, if we really, if we just boil it down and say, God, help us to understand, then frankly, if God is God, <laughs> there's no reason you can't understand. There's no reason you can't see. And there's absolutely no reason you can't hear God speak. So in devotional, and when you take your devotional time, expect to meet God. Expect to see God. Expect to hear from God, because I do. <laughs> I'm a nut, but I do expect it. My will, your joy. Our Lord and our God, lead us, we beseech thee. Lead us and keep us. You can never go beyond my love and care. Remember that. No evil can befall you. Circumstances I bless and use must be the right ones for you. But I know always that the first step is to lay your will before me as an offering, ready that I shall do what is best. Be sure that, if you trust me, what I do for you will be the best. You need to trust me with all your heart. Your second step is to be sure and to tell me so that I am powerful enough to do everything. The hearts of the kings are in my rule and governance, that no miracle is impossible with me, for with God all things are possible, and I and my Father are one. Then leave it all with me. Glad to leave all your affairs in a master's hand, sure of safety and protection, remembering you cannot see the future, but I can. You cannot bear it, so only little by little can I reveal it to you. Accept my will, and it will bring you joy. You know, there's an assurance there that reminds us that if God can see the future, and he has, and God knows the plans that he's set out for us, which he says are of peace and of an expected end, then if we find ourselves in some kind of conflict or circumstance where we lose our cookies or we get upset or we don't know what's going on, then you have to trust the Lord because He did see it. He knew it. He already knows. You are the one who needs to find out. And when you do, by asking Him, by seeking Him, by finding Him, then you can have great joy because... <laughs> You already know that he said he would take care of you and that it is for your best. There used to be a song that said, do your best and pray that it's blessed and Jesus takes care of the rest. And frankly, that's a fact. <laughs> you aren't God. And no matter what you do or how much you play in the gods of men routine and role that each day most people do, you can't tell what tomorrow will bring. But God can. And I can think of no other reason than that alone that should give you great comfort unless you don't know it. And if you don't, then I would suggest maybe it's time you do. You don't know what tomorrow may bring or even if you'll be alive to see it. So, if you know God, and if you walk with Jesus day by day, then you begin to see how he shapes and makes things a certain way so that you don't feel surprised at anything that comes your way. Because in all things, then, you'll be able to give thanks. You'll be able to be glad. 
you'll be able to rejoice always. But of course, you can't do that to start with. Or can you? Maybe you will. And maybe you won't. But as you go day by day, a little bit at a time, I think that you'll find that it's easier to go that way than it is to be stressed out, to be blown out, to be bummed out, to be defeated, to be discouraged, to be uncertain whether or not God knows what you're going through. He knows. And He cares. You know why? Because He loves you. That's the only reason why. Because He loves you.